For measuring the power of low power beams, say in the nanowatt range, we normally use photodiode based sensors. These might be based on silicon, germanium, or in gas detectors, depending on the spectral region. However, when the beams are pulsed, often at low rep rates, measuring them can become tricky. Vixels, for example, and many related laser diode sources emit beams that are pulsed at some tens of hertz. The average power might be low, but if that low power beam actually consists of slow repetition rate and perhaps short pulses, each of those pulses might actually have a pretty high instantaneous or peak power. Because of the fast physical response time of photodiodes, the actual raw signal itself will keep up with the laser pulses and will itself therefore be pulsed. And that's what the rest of the measurement instrument will see. Two problems can result from this. First, the low pulse frequency can beat with a sampling rate typical of laser power meters. For example, a typical Ophir meter samples a power sensor's signal at 15 Hz. If the beam is pulsed at, say, 14 Hz, the readout will suffer from a 1 Hz beat frequency that'll make it very difficult to get a proper reading. Secondly, here we see what a low average power but high peak power signal might look like. Let's think about this for a moment. What power scale or range do we set the meter to? If we choose a scale appropriate for the average power, as we normally do when measuring power of CW beams, then we're looking at a low average power scale, meaning high gain in the electronics. But then, when the pulses come, the detector will momentarily saturate, which can lead to a measurement error. If, on the other hand, we want to avoid saturation, and so we select a scale appropriate for the high peak power, meaning low gain in the electronics, then we'll be operating near the floor of the scale and will suffer from poor resolution and lots of noise. In other words, any scale we choose will be wrong. One relatively simple solution for the beat frequency problem would be to use the meter's averaging function. By reading out the running average power over a time period at least as long as the beat frequency cycle, the beating gets averaged out, and the correct and stable power reading will be displayed. However, that's not always practical. Ophir offers a more comprehensive solution, one that doesn't limit you to averaging over time. We call it low frequency power mode, and it's supported by a number of Ophir meters and virtual meters. The sampling rate is internally adjusted to match the actual pulse frequency, which the user is prompted to enter. No more beat frequency. The gain is lowered and the resolution is increased so that we get accurate measurements of the low average power without being thrown off by saturation caused by the high peak power. Here you can see a measurement of a slowly pulsing beam in regular power mode and in low frequency mode. You can verify which meters support low frequency power mode by checking our Measuring Modes Available webpage.